He has been on the Artie Lang show on Sirius. That's right, Sirius XM Radio. This guy, he's been a good friend of mine for a long time. In fact, he is an alumni of Laughing Matters TV. Please welcome Mr. Mike Boschetti. <laughs> Hey guys, give it up for Hector. Keep it going for Jose yourselves. Thank you. So how you guys doing? Good? Good. How many other people are from old New York like Hector is? I am too. I miss those days, like gangs killing people, New York being like the wire. You know, it's like, now like Hector said, you, in Williamsburg you got like $14 cupcakes and people with fake fucking Paul Bunyan beards. I can't take it no more. We'll move on, guys. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to rag too much about that because recently some hipster said to me, I don't consider you a white guy. I'm like, good. They created enough shit here. I don't want any part of it. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, how about your typical Viking, Pilgrim, L.O. Bean, Arrow Stopple, Campbell Sloop, Serpent, White Guy? Sure. But I do want a pair of hush puppies. Thank you. Uh, I said to this woman, meet me at the library, so this way she couldn't scream when she saw me. <laughs> you guys can laugh, I wrote this, I'm cool with this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I fell asleep at a science fair. When I woke up, I found that I won first place. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to run away from home, but my parents beat me to it. <laughs> Thank you. When I was a kid, I played hide and seek with my dad. He's been missing since 1970. You gotta be who you are. I really, I really don't care, you know, but thank you. Uh, my dad was a good provider. He kept us in welfare as long as he could. Thank you. He did really. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lion bad because he, he really did, but we'll move on with him, but thanks. My dad took us all to AA and said this is my family. They're the reason why I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Give it up for the ladies. Woman ruled in my weakness. I love her more than anything because, guys, without our woman, we're dog shit. Let's face the truth because women have the keys to the city. If you know what I mean. I'm being nice about it, you know, because... Uh, because... One penis is worth 25 vaginas, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh God. I'll move on, guys, with that Me Too stuff we have today. I gotta be careful up here because one of my favorite actresses is Christina Ricci. I love her, she's hot, she's adorable, she plays all psycho chicks in movies. I wanna become famous enough for a day to bang her. But I'm a gentleman because she was in this, in this movie called Pumpkin where she fell in love with this retarded guy and I'm thinking to myself, I'm in. <laughs> I'm on, she's fucking me, can't even write his name with a pencil, you know what I mean? <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm not an obnoxious guy, really, but thank you guys so much. My psychiatrist said, do you have a mental block? No, it's more of a foundation. <laughs> you know what's really crazy, right? White, white people scare the living shit out of me because I feel like I'm in the witness protection program every time I stand next to them. <laughs> I did go, anybody, I went to Nantucket, which is like the whitest, like, I'm not even fucking a white guy over there, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I swear to God I'm not. I went on stage and I said, I've just landed in the witness protection program, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you guys. Give it up for our military, they're kicking butt, we've been safe for a long time now. <laughs> Thanks to them for sure. God bless every minute of them. I'm, I'm very honest about stuff. I never lie. I try to be up front. Believe it or not, I was a Marine. I joined the Marines in 1990, which is the same year I got out. <laughs> Thank you, because my dad wanted me to play football, but I don't want to wear another helmet. It's okay, guys. You guys should laugh. 
when I come up here, you guys are like, look, guys, I'm not retarded. I don't have Asperger's, none of those things. I may look like those people physically and stuff. <laughs> but once that's done, on me, you know, thank you guys. Uh, one of my favorite prostitutes <laughs> did something to ruin my sex life. She stopped working. That's okay. She's right over here in 42nd, and well, we'll move on, guys. Thank you. Bye. I like being fat. It's easy to maintain. Thank you, guys. We'll move on. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very, very blessed. I recently had a major heart attack over a year ago recently, and I survived it. Thank God. It's not easy, but one thing I hate about it is changing my food. I was a pizza and hot dog guy, all that shit. You know what I mean? Now it's like, you know, I'm tired of eating frozen tree bark and bullshit, really. It's like, I wish some hipster would come up with something like organic cheese doodles. <laughs> the one thing is, after the operation, I go like, I, I went, the doctor goes, we were a success. I go, back this up a second. What do you mean, we were a success, buddy? You know what I mean? It's like, I'm like, okay, if we were that much of a success, Give me a bottle of Jack, some hookies, and 10 pounds of hot dogs right now, buddy. <laughs> you guys are great. Uh, thank you. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to bring my friend Hector back. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Have a great night. <laughs>